Hi guys, welcome. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Janelle and you know we're all about the makeup. For today's makeup look, I've brought you my go-to everyday makeup look. My makeup might be a little bit more extra than some of you guys or maybe you might have makeup that I consider to be totally, totally extra and out of this world. But this is the kind of look that I like to go in with on a daily basis. It's not every day doing a cut crease, not, you know, every day bright pink blush or heavy eye makeup or like a bright lip. On a daily basis, I like to go in with something that's more neutral. Nice eyeshadow because I really do enjoy a nice eyeshadow look, albeit a simple one. Today I've gone in with one of my favorite coral blushes and a nude look because that's what I go for really on a daily basis. All right guys, so if you want to see how I put this look together, the products that I use, the techniques that I use and what I think of these products, just keep on watching guys. I'm going to start by priming my face with the L'Oreal. This is the Matlock Mattifying Primer Base. It's extremely hot where I live. I have oily skin and I usually like to go in with something that's a little bit more mattifying on the skin. So now that that's sinking into my skin nicely, I'm going to go in with my foundation. For foundation, I've been going in pretty often with the Revlon, the Color Stay foundation. I've seen, well, in recent times, a lot of beauty content creators using this and I decided to pick it up. I'm shade 500 Walnut and I've really been liking this foundation recently. It's more on the medium coverage. It's not an extremely full coverage foundation. All right, so that is blended out. And as you can still see, you can still see my skin. The skin has a very subtle glow to it. It's not completely mattifying, but it does dry down very nicely. And that's why I like it. You know, I work so hard with my skincare. So sometimes it's not always about full coverage. You don't want something too full on the skin like on a daily basis i like to let my skin just breathe a little bit as much as it can under my makeup if you're a regular here you know for my concealer i've been loving the mac studio fix 24 hour concealer and that's what i'm going to go in with today and i'm shade nc 45 This is my daily makeup. I like to still go in and conceal 
and highlight you know the highest points of my face I love that look and that's what I do so I'm just gonna blend that concealer out make sure that I look up to make sure I get right under my lower lash line So to set my concealer down and where, the, where I would have highlighted, I'm going to go in today with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder. I'm going to use shade number 30. And always make sure you get corner of your nose I'm just going to bake a little bit and we can come back and we can dust that off later once that concealer is nicely set down face with the Milani contour and highlight duo in the shade 05 dark deep. I'm also going to contour my nose. This routine will normally take me like let's say 30 minutes to actually complete because I like to take my time just relax and chill when I'm doing my makeup you know get the day started on the right note you're not rushing you're just doing something that you enjoy You know, some of you might have a simpler routine, but that's okay. Just do what you have time to do and what you like. We all like different things when it comes to makeup and you shouldn't be judged for it. You know, you just do what makes you happy. And I find this routine is what I like and my makeup always looks flawless and exactly how I like it. I'm just going to go in with a small eyeshadow brush for the precision and blend out my nose contour. And work that into the head of my brow. foundation down I'm going in with the black opal true color the ultra matte and this is a foundation powder so it 
it gives a little bit more coverage and helps to really lock your foundation in. And in this powder, I am shade number 450 medium dark, but all the products that I use and the shade in the products are going to be linked in the description box down below for you guys as a reference. And I like to go over my nose just to dust away the highlight and to set that contour down. For my contour, not for my contour, for my bronzer, sorry guys, I'm going to go in with a Juvia's Place bronzer. This is the dark kit. You have two shades in the dark kit and I like to actually just mix them to get the perfect shade. For my bronzer, So my brows are done and I went in with some of the same MAC concealer on my lids, you know, just to give me a blank canvas to work with. We're not going to be doing any cut crease today or anything like that. That's not something that I do on a daily basis when I, you know, just want to make sure that my makeup is done and I look presentable. So I'm going to go in today with the ColourPop, the Coast to Coral eyeshadow palette. Alright, and as you can see, the shades in here are very natural looking. There are some shimmers in the palettes, some browns, some pinks. I'm going to work the color called Queensland, which is like this. Ooh, we've gone extremely dark. Sorry about that. But I'm going to work the shade called Queensland just in my crease and a little higher up as a transition shade. I want the eyes to look very natural that's what I go for for my lid I'm going to go in with the color called drop off in the palette it's a brown shimmer shade a bit of drama on the eye. What I like about this palette is that although it's a shimmer shade, it's very finely milled so it doesn't look over the top and this look I find you can transition from day to night so easily. Some days I would actually go in with like a matte shade on the lid, but I alternate between a very finely milled glitter or a matte shade for my, you know, everyday my go-to makeup looks. Just to spice it up sometimes and mix it up so I don't get bored with my makeup. I'm going to go in with the color keys and put that on my inner corner.
I'm just going to line my lower lash line with a black pencil. I'm going to go back into the palette and use the color Queensland just to smoke out my lower lash line under where I apply that black pencil. All right, so I just popped some lashes on off camera and I'm just gonna go in with my blush now. For my blush, I'm going in with a Palladio Matte Blush in the shade Tipsy. It's a orangey coral blush and I find that this really nicely complements my complexion. All right, so I just went in with a dark brown pencil. For my lip color today, I'm gonna to go in with an LA Colors Matte Liquid Lip. I've been loving this one in the shade Smashing. And it's like a light brown nude. I'm going to go over that with a gloss. I'm going to go in with the one of the new Maybelline Lifter Glosses. This one is in the shade Amber. These glosses, glosses have hyaluronic acid in them. They are so moisturizing and they feel so nice on the lip. 
and of course we can't forget to set our makeup after we've done all that hard work I'm just going to go in today with the Maybelline Last and Fix the 16 hour mattifying setting spray alright guys and so we're all done and this is my go to everyday makeup look all completed as you can see everything is very natural looking we've gone in with some very neutral looking eyeshadows although that queensland shade in colourpop palette i find on camera sometimes looks a little bit more orange it's more of a clay colored eyeshadow and it really really does suit my complexion and blends in nicely for a very soft eye i've kept the lip you know nude was new i love a new look on a daily basis and we've gone in with a coral tone blush just to keep everything very neutral and very very simple i don't know i think my makeup might be a little extra to some people but this is honestly what i like and i really think you should just go in with what makes you feel comfortable i take a lot of pictures and I need to be a little bit more, you know, put together in terms of my makeup. Maybe you're going to work, maybe you're just going out for lunch or going out for brunch or for dinner or something like that. And you're just going with something that's extremely simple. It all just depends on what you like and how much time you have and if you're in the mood that day. I'm always in the mood. Alright guys, so thank you very much for hanging out with me for another video. If you aren't subscribed, make sure that you subscribe, that you join the channel, you join the family and you come along for more makeup videos. Alright guys, so as I always tell you, keep being fabulous and until next time, take care. I'll see you soon. Bye guys.